So you're looking for a way to use instant doubles with Rekordbox DJ, but the keyboard shortcut isn't working. Find out a workaround coming up. Thanks for watching P.TV, where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. Now let's get into the video. So one feature that's been holding me back from using Rekordbox DJ more often is the fact that I couldn't find a way to use instant doubles the way I use it in Serato DJ. Usually in Serato DJ, if you have one deck playing, and then you load a song to the, the next deck, if it's the exact same song, it should take off and start exactly where the first deck is playing, so they're lined up and matched up. That's how instant doubles works. But no matter how you load it in Rekordbox DJ, it just loads right at the beginning of the, of the track or a first cue point, whichever way you have your settings set up, if you're just using the keyboard shortcuts. But I found a workaround. If you actually map the load functions to a MIDI controller, in this case I have it mapped to my Z2, you do get access to instant doubles by double tapping the load. So let's eject the track in deck B. Now watch. Instead of using the keyboard shortcuts, I'm going to use the mapping that I have on my mixer. So I have the deck loads mapped to these two buttons right here. So if I go ahead and make sure the song is selected and hit load twice, I get instant doubles. Just that easy. This is probably my number one reason to always carry a MIDI controller with me to a gig if I plan on using Rekordbox DJ. Now that I've found this, I'll probably use this more often. My controller of choice to keep in my bag is the Tractor X1. I mean, it's just built really solid, really easy to map, and it's just done me right all the time. So I'm probably going to map the load functions to one of these. I haven't, I haven't actually uh, decided yet, but when I do get it mapped out, I'll be sure to give it to you guys. So that's my workaround to use Instant Doubles with Rekordbox DJ. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those down below. And as always, thanks for watching P.TV, where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. See you next time.